Hi everybody, um, we're going to be looking at Ivor the Engine Annual, 1978. It's quite a rare book, and it's only going to be interesting to people in England, probably, uh, and Wales especially. Um, it's from a cartoon, very popular cartoon. This is for DVD, but this is only the colour episodes, it has a complete black and white series, uh, televised in the 60s, which you can see on YouTube. Um, but what's good about this is, it is actually by uh, Oliver Postgate and Peter Furman. So Oliver wrote everything and Peter drew and uh, illustrated everything. And there's a lovely map here uh, with Grumbly Town and the gas works. Ivor's shed. There's uh, Dinwiddie's mine and Smoke Hill where the dragons live gives you a sense of where Ivor and his light railway exists. And there's a lot of stories in here. This is Ivor's friends. It's all about the birds who save the day when his wheel comes off the track on a bridge. And Jones Esteem ends up in the water. There's a nice little game where one player starts this side and one here and you have to get three engines to the other side. You know, like counters, and um, but you're not allowed to overlap or pass someone on the same track, so it makes it a little bit more difficult. There's a colouring page for the previous owner, or one of the previous owners, uh, attempted. It's another story, delivery charges. Some lovely illustrations here. And... Uh, you know, you'll be able to pause these as I go through, should you fancy reading any of it. There's <laughs> a couple of nice little stories in here. And uh, interestingly about this, is none of the stories, I mean, it's actually quite detailed of what actually happens inside Ivor and, and, and a real engine and how they work. But none of the stories are copies or, you know, just lifted straight from the uh, cartoon. These are all original some uh, facts about other railways and different kinds of railways suspended railway monorail funiculars uh, this is a nice one more like a storyboard story a safe house a strange little story that one in a way pigeon post another story Jones Esteem falling off the ladder. Uh, another colouring page. Here you can make your own Ivor the Engine. Of course you'd have to cut them for the annual up. Plus you'll have to back all of this onto thicker card. And it'd take a bit of effort, especially for a young person. But a nice idea. Actually I, I worked with someone once and uh, their dad was this amazing engineer, um, like railway model engineer, model railway stuff, and he made a tiny, tiny eye of the engine that was working. It was perfect in every detail, but it was minute. I don't think it was N gauge, but yeah, it must have been N gauge. It was incredible. It, all the detail was exactly as it should be. Here is uh, a little quiz, which someone has <laughs> got hideously wrong you know, cage, that should really have the parrot in it, and, um, uh, you know, the fish tank should have a goldfish, but they've written things like cart, and, you know. But again, the, whoever had it really enjoyed the book. Uh, another, this is the same story continued from earlier. You see this kind of thing a lot in these old annuals, where they spread things over um, different sections of the annual. Another story, gold mining. So for example here, make your own either of the engine. There's this chassis here, this section here, and there's a crossword above with some fantastic answers. Sagnell, Money, Joan. You know, a lot of these are wrong, <laughs> but just fantastic to look at. Uh, 
Uh, another story made for money. Uh, a couple of pages on other Welsh engines. So Festiniog Railway, uh, Welsh Pool, actual steam engines. I have read Oliver Postgate's uh, autobiography and I can't remember off the top of my head where they came up with the idea for either the engine. Because they did have some marvellous ideas. I mean, Peter Furman, if any of you are listening to me and got this far, he actually created the puppet of Basil Brush as well. I mean, these people um, were very talented. Uh, you know, with the clangers and all sorts of other stuff. There's another story. It's a strange story. That's like a page and a letter on a page. And this is a lovely touch at the end here. Ivor is always joining in with the Welsh choir. You know, it's a lovely and nostalgic kind of feel about the whole cartoon. But there's an actual tune um, by Jay Hughes and a traditional tune and some lovely, lo lovely words for her about Ivor. And uh, I like the meter of it. Very nice. And then there's a summary of regulations with I waited forever at Grumbly Town and only the rain came tumbling down. Oh, and the signal is signal man. He stays in his box. He isn't in charge of the whole railway and needn't think he is. So there you go. I seconds those sentiments. <laughs> you know, just daft stuff. But um, there you are. Quite a rare book. Not an easy thing to come by. And um, you know, that's for the one or two people who would enjoy this. <laughs> Anyway, thank you very much and I'll see you all later.